sexual dysfunction occurs in many individuals with Parkinson's disease. As a person ages, the sexual function declines, but if a person has Parkinson's disease, the rate at which sexual function declines is much faster. In general, there is a decreased sex drive in people with Parkinson's disease. For men, the most frequent problem is attaining and maintaining an erection. Women may experience a decrease in libido. A number of factors including autonomic dysfunction, anxiety, depression and urinary dysfunction may be responsible for this. Some of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease such as slowness of movement, tremor and fatigue directly interfere with sexual desire. Since Parkinson's disease affects motor function, it becomes difficult to be sexually active. A couple may not be able to sleep on the same bed if the symptoms are severe enough. Sexual dysfunction can also occur as a result of change in roles in a relationship. As Parkinson's disease progresses in a person, their partner may become their primary caregiver. Sometimes these energy demands and adjustment disrupt relationships. Other coexisting medical conditions such as diabetes may affect sexual function. In addition, the drugs used to treat high blood pressure and some other medical conditions may also affect sexual functioning. Sexual dysfunction is like any other health concern. You need to discuss this with your healthcare team so that they can take the necessary steps to treat it. However, sometimes it is difficult for people to speak about such problems. You may be referred to a urologist for further assessment of sexual dysfunction. Urologists may rule out other causes of erectile dysfunction such as prostate problems, diabetes and depression. Urologists will review all medication used for other medical conditions such as beta blockers and antidepressants which may cause sexual dysfunction. Some of the practical tips to help sexual dysfunction include maintaining regular sexual activity which helps to increase your sexual drive. It can also keep your relationship close. If sexual activity is rare, your interest may wane and your relationship may become uncomfortable. Performing sexual activity in a relaxed environment, frank discussion with your partner, psychosexual counseling, devices such as vacuums and vibrators may help. Exploring the methods other than intercourse as the intimacy with your partner does not necessarily mean sexual activity. Simple gestures such as hugs and kisses can go a long way in keeping with relationships stronger over time. There are also many pharmacological treatments available for sexual dysfunction. Medications used to treat Parkinson's disease, especially dopamine agonists, may help in improving the sexual drive. Depression can be a cause of sexual dysfunction. If suspected, it should be treated. However, some of the drugs used to treat depression may cause orgasmic dysfunction as a side effect. Medications such as sildenafil, verdenafil, tadafil, yohimbine, alprostadil, and surgical implants such as semi-rigid rods and hydraulic prosthesis are very helpful but they should be used only under guidance of your physician. Some of the medications may have serious side effects such as headaches, facial flushing and upset stomach, bullet vision, increased sensitivity to light and unsafe drop in blood pressure. If oral medications don't help, the medication that can be injected into penis and certain devices that can increase the blood flow into penis can be used. Dopamine agonist in some cases may lead to abnormal behavior such as compulsive hypersexuality. In such a case, your physician need to be informed so the medication can be stopped. 
If you're taking medications for a condition other than Parkinson's disease, you should consult your physician to make sure that it is not affecting your sexual functioning as a side effect. Older women may experience issues associated with menopause. These need to be addressed appropriately since they usually reduce sexual functioning. This information is provided for educational purposes only and should not be taken as a substitute for the medical care and advice of your physician.